We're just now coming down from the amazing release of the Harry Potter inspired game of Hogwarts Legacy. This title saw a crazy success, only releasing in February, and it was a game that I had a really fun time playing. Casting dark art spells on the ops while my character was still only a teenager just felt fulfilling. The game storyline was a pretty decent one, you know, as a game being set around 100 years before the events of the movies, I think the game did a good job of creating a story surrounding a familiar world, but with unique characters. But I'd be lying if I said that after beating the game, I didn't feel that in some areas the game felt just a little lackluster. One in the fact that you couldn't riz Natsai, you know, she was on my character's body. But also the campaign itself was actually pretty short, you know, the game feels extended if you do, you know, all the side quests and explore all the massive map and whatnot. But if you just wanted to full throttle through the campaign missions only, you could do so in one or two playthroughs. Not only that, the game also didn't feature a beloved sport from the movies that many people were excited for when the game was first announced, being the game of Quidditch. Now, if you've never watched the Harry Potter movies and don't understand how cool it would have been to have this feature in Hogwarts Legacy, it's, it's all good. Just know that if this feature was in the game, you'd be seeing my name on the top of the leaderboards because I would have been dominating. But even though Quidditch may not have been in Hogwarts Legacy, fans of the imaginary sport are in luck because it was just recently officially announced for a standalone Harry Potter based game on the sport of Quidditch. This game, Quidditch Champions, was officially announced yesterday and it's been made available on its website for players to sign up for its soon open beta for free. The game is apparently going to be an online multiplayer based title and most likely going to be a free game when it officially releases because you know that's the route that every multiplayer game takes nowadays but it hasn't been made official whether this is the case or not. For right now as far as the platforms go we only know that it will be available on current gen consoles and PC. The game is being developed by the company Unsteady Studios, a team that develop and co-develop notable games like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and the Batman Arkham series. Now, obviously the game is going to be mainly focused on the game of Quidditch, but based on the description of the game from the official website, there's going to be additional broomstick adventures in the game. What these adventures may include haven't been made public yet, but in Hogwarts Legacy, they introduced the idea of broomstick racing, so you know, that could be a possibility. Or maybe there's like an obstacle course type thing they could have going on, or a 1v1 mode, you know, there's just no telling. Just know that I like to play dirty, so I'll be casting a Crucio spell on anybody who thinks they can beat me. Whatever these features may be, I'm curious to see what exactly they are. Now, with all of that though, the biggest question that the fans have right now is how are the developers going to be able to map out the gameplay of the sport in a fun and competitive way? If you remember, this isn't the first Quidditch game ever made, with the sport previously having a title in 2004 with the game Quidditch World Cup. The problem with this game was not only that the graphics were ass, golly, but the gameplay was reduced to just catching the snitch and it was an automatic win, avoiding the rest of the gameplay. This brought the game to a negative light and it's obviously going to be a bad experience if something similar to this happens in an online multiplayer version of the Quidditch game. So how the creators are going to tackle this gameplay flaw is going to be interesting to say the least. Either way, the game is up for free open beta sign up. So if you want to be one of the first to check it out and see if this game is a flop or not, I'll leave the link in the description. Overall, I'm looking forward to trying out the game even though I'm not much of an online game fan these days, just because of how much fun I had in Hogwarts Legacy. But we'll just have to wait and see whether this game will be even close to as fun. So what do you guys think about this reveal, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon if you're interested. And I'll see you on the next one.